What's going on YouTube? My Lark's here today and we're back for another player review on the channel, of course. So today we've picked up Marcel Sabitzer's one to watch card. Now, normally one to watch cards only go up if it's performance based. This year, if the team that they play for win five out of 10 league games, they will get an additional upgrade. So Marcel Sabitzer's first card is an 84 gold card. Obviously Bayern have won five out of 10 games so far already. So he's now up to an 86 rated. So let's just see how good of the upgrade it is. So obviously he's high, high, right footed, three star skill moves, four star weak foot. He's currently on the market for around 18,000 coins, which is not bad for a box to box midfielder. He's not far off being like a Hullet gang player. Now looking at his attributes, he's got 80 pace now. So he's a nice, obviously every stat has been improved by plus two. So if you have used a bit of before, it is a nice upgrade. And I think it is more of a usable card now than what it was before. So he's got 80 pace, 77 acceleration, 83 sprint speed. So his shooting was already quite good anyway, and this had a massive improvement now. 83 finishing, 90 shot power, 90 long shots, 84 volleys. So all round his shooting is very, very good. 83 passes, 86 short pass, 83 long pass, 78 curve. Vision is 85 as well. So he's got that bit of batting as well in the middle of the park. I'm going to play him as a box to box midfielder. I feel like we get the best out of him in that role. And he's got 82 dribbling, so 77 agility, 82 balance. So he's not going to move um, as quick as someone is smaller than him. He is quite tall. But 77 agility is, is good enough, I feel, at this stage of the game. 88 reactions, 81 dribbling, 82 composure, which is good. So he's got 70 defenders as well, 74 defensive awareness, 73 stand tackle. They're the main things, really. 69 interceptions isn't bad. I am going to use a shadow on him. I feel like that will be, be the best to put on him. It will boost his defensive stats and his pace, especially when you want to use him as a boxer, box midfielder. I feel like this is the stats that really need to be improved. So he's got 80 physical, he's got 87 stamina, 78 strength. 73 jumping, he is quite tall anyway. 79 aggression, which is good. And we have a quick look at his player traits. Injury prone, which doesn't really happen anyway too much on the game. Long shot taker, playmaker, and outside of the foot. So everything you probably want from a box-to-box -box midfielder. Easy to link in, he plays for Bayern Munich. He's Austrian as well. So you can get a link with Alaba in there as well. So we'll play a game of rivals and see how we get on. Oof. Oh, what a goal. Marcel Sabitza. Oh, he's done it again! Marcel Sabitza! Watch this for a goal.
the absolute complete midfielder. Great finish. So as you see from the footage, in the few games that I did play with Savitsa, I managed to score three goals, three assists. He's absolutely unreal, obviously his long range shooting is an absolute joke. The goals he scored, obviously the attempts were so close as well. His passing all round's very good. His agility is very good as well, considering he's like six foot. You know, you'd think he's very, he moves very slow in game, he doesn't, he moves quite smoothly. Um, I did end up keeping the Hunter on him in the end. Um, I didn't have a shadow, so I thought, right, let's just use the Hunter anyway. And as you can see, it really did boost his shooting attributes and made his uh, shot power and long shots just become unstoppable, really, as you see from the footage. Um, it's a great card. You know, this card's 18,000 coins. So if you are looking for an upgrade in your team, box-to-box -box midfielder, this is probably the best card to get into your team. You're not really going to get too many cards that are all rounded for 18k on the game. Like I said, with pace, shot, passing, dribbling, and the physical all good, you're not going to get a better card. I played him in a 4-3-3, I played him as a box-to-box -box midfielder, that's the formation I mainly use. I mean, you can use him in pretty much any formation, really. He could probably play as, as a box-to-box -box in any sort of formation, 4-2-3-1, 4-3-3. You know, even if, if you're one of them people that plays five at the back, like a 5-3-2 or a 5-2-1-2, something like that. You know, he can, play, he can play that position in pretty much any formation that you want. But to give it a rating out of 10, I'm going to give this card an 8.5. The only thing that sort of lets it down is the skill moves, really. But all round, like I said, passing, shooting, dribbling's good. It's, it's a really, really underrated card, I feel. Like, I think if he was, you know, maybe French, I think a lot of people would have this card in their team. I think the fact's because it's Austrian. It's not the hardest card to link, to the, the hardest card to link in the world. But I know some, a lot of people are picky with, with players. But, I mean, he, he can link in with Bayern Munich players. Anyone from Bundesliga, I mean, there's quite a lot of Bundes, uh, Bayern Munich cards that you would want to link him with him. You've got Upa Meccano, you've got Alfonso Davis, you've obviously got Lewandowski, Goretzka, Koeman, Gnabry. So there's a lot of cards that you can easily link him in with. So yeah, I'd give him an 8.5. Like I said, the only thing that sort of does lack it is the skill moves or maybe that extra weak foot. But I mean, if he had an extra weak foot, he would definitely be hooded. So let's not underestimate it. For 18,000 coins, you're not going to get... I mean, many better cards than this. I can't really think off the top of my head of many cards that can compete with this card now that he's had his upgrade from an 84 to an 86. So yeah, I'm going to give it an 8.5. Really, really good card. I didn't really find anything wrong with the card. Even his tackling was good. As you see, he made quite a lot of tackles against some of my opponents that I played. So yeah, if I was to keep, if I was to put a proper chem star on him, I'd either keep a hunter or I'd go for a shadow. Um, I didn't feel like his agility needed boosted. It didn't feel like he needed boosted in game. So personally, I would keep the hunter on him or go for a shadow if you want to boost his defensive stats a little bit more some people may want to boost his agility i'd probably go for an engine that's probably the best bet because obviously it boosts the pace and the agility as well as well as his passing but yeah his passing was good enough for me his curve you know was really good with the finesse shots as you see so there wasn't really much that i felt like needed to be improved with this card so yes i'd give marcel a bit so 8.5 18 000 coins if you can find me a better card then then we'll debate but thanks for tuning in. That's all for today's video. Like, subscribe, comment. We're on the road to 1,000 subscribers. There'll be more player reviews, more tactic videos coming out soon on the channel. So keep your eyes posted for that one. Thanks for tuning in. And until next time.